So here's what we're going to do. We're going to jam through, and I'm going to give you some tips. I'm not going to dig into the marketing as much as I would normally, but I'm just going to rapid fire give you some design ideas. Design is critical, and it's something that almost no one pays any attention to. Design. And design is everything from the design of your logo, the design of the look of your website, the design of your product, the design of the packaging. Who here has purchased an iPod? Okay. You remember when you bought it and you opened it up and you, you almost thought the packaging itself was a work of art? You know what I mean? Who has some piece of Apple packaging in some closet in their house kept? <laughs> right? Isn't that, isn't that amazing? That's design. I heard Steve Jobs, actually I got to meet Steve Jobs. One of my hobbies is going and trying to meet and talk to billionaires and ask one question of them. And uh, I've been doing that for a few years now and it's fascinating. You know, you get one answer from someone like that and it you know, can give a lot of insight. But anyway, I saw Steve Jobs um, talk at a conference recently, uh, earlier this year, just a few months ago, and he said, we think of Apple as a software company. And I said, whoa, like I gotta readjust my brain. And then he quoted some other guy and he said, this other guy says, if you love software, you make your own hardware. So we view the iPod as a wonderful piece of software wrapped in beautiful hardware. Right? And if you, once you think, once you understand that, then you go into the Apple store and you look at an Apple computer, you realize that these guys really get it. And their designs are the best. They're just simply the best. So design is that, it's almost like that, that place where your company and your products and your marketing interface with the customer. That's where design lives. Does that make sense? That space where your customers meet your marketing, your products, and your services. That's where design lives. A, a term that's used a lot lately is usability. Usability has been mentioned a lot on the web. And what does usability mean? It means how easy and intuitive is it to use something? And most design, just about everywhere, is kind of an afterthought. And there's an old saying in design. They say, form follows function. It's kind of the most popular saying in design and arch architecture. Form follows function. Any guesses about why it's said so often? because it has alliteration at the beginning. Form follows function, because it's memorable. That's why the phrase is used and remembered. Remember what we learned about alliteration and similar sounds? Now, it also just so happens that it's a great concept. Form follows function. So the thing follows the other thing. So the thing that leads is the function. You start with the function, and then you design the thing to facilitate the function. 